Epic. Pretty mad. Full on. Exhilarating. Intense. Scary. First day racing in Sydney Harbour for the F50s and it didn't disappoint. With two Aussies in the top three overall with a Dane leading. British skipper Giles Scott is finding his way at the start but pretty sure the Gov, aka Ben Ainsley, will be on the phone with some advice. And finally Canada's Phil Pottymouth Robertson had some words for the organisers after mechanical failure left his F50 languishing for the day. So expect that to be fixed, and some fireworks for tomorrow. Pressing, pressing, yeah. And not quite spot, Milky. Half header at five. More puff header to come. I think it will. Get it wider. Nice work, guys. Great race. Well done. Okay. Watch the jib, okay? Nice to see the up for angle. Oh, no. Woo! 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. And, uh, it was just dying throughout the day and we saw the forecast this morning and knew it wasn't going to be survival at all um, but it was a tough day like that southerly course and with the weather like this with the clouds in it gets really frontal and puffy and the winds in and out but yeah we're really happy with how we sailed. I found Shark Island in my way a couple of times but um, yeah it was so fun today sailing in Sydney Harbour. It would have been nice to have a bit more wind and more sunshine but uh, a southerly is definitely tricky and um, yeah, they managed to put Shark Island right in the middle of the course and uh, yeah, we were just sort of chipping away and you know, it was great to have a good last race. We had three shocking starts, very, very similar in every single one. Um, yeah, have to have a good look at that tonight. Uh, yeah, we just got completely gassed out. Had an option in the first one to come down low, which we didn't take, which we really should have done. Um, but yeah, not, not, not good. Right near the start of the first race, we just started to lose a few hydraulic functions on the boat, mainly the jib. And then we started to lose the foil functions and then we started to lose the wing functions until nothing was working and we weren't getting any hydraulic pressure anywhere in the boat. So these boats are run hydraulically and if you don't have any pumps pushing oil around, yeah, the boat doesn't work. So yeah, it's quite um, very disappointing. I'm actually pretty furious, yeah. I think it's um, really poor by the league, to be honest. You come here, promise a boat to race with, Nothing's in our control. We're not allowed to touch the boat. We're not allowed to repair the boat. We uh, promised a boat race ready. And when you don't get a boat that's race ready, it's out of your hands and it does piss you off. And when it shuts down like that and breaks, you've got to ask questions and there needs to be questions asked.
epic. Pretty mad. Full on. Exhilarating. Intense. Scary. Moist. Choppy. Breeze on, big waves, cruise fun. It's just brilliant. A great, great event, nice and windy. Awesome. Awesome.